Hey guys, it is Tristan with Nerdette's Newsstand, and um, a lot of the videos that I have done on Mortal Kombat have kind of been painted in a negative light, and that was for art direction alone, basically, um, and we did see a little bit of Katana yesterday and Devora, and to me, I thought it looked really good. Like, it was the first time I was like, wow, these females look really well done. Like, Katana's face to me was really good. She looked very nice. She didn't have any sort of, um, that classic costume some of us crave, but, um, she did look really good. She looked beautiful. Devora looked like a Cinnabite, but she looked good. Um, regardless of what I've said about Mortal Kombat and what I have talked about, there is, um, there has been some minor, uh, DLC news, and with that coming up, I kind of wanted to take this in a more positive direction when it comes to the game, just for the simple fact is I haven't painted it in a positive light, even though I've been a fan for a really long time, unfortunately, this time I was, it left a bad taste in my mouth, and I don't want that to be my center focus when it comes to this game, even though I do disagree with some things they have done. I'm still going to give it a solid chance. Well, with the DLC stuff um, that I've seen or heard, I kind of just wanted to do a fun video about um, there's going to be six DLCs, right? So this is basically what I hope to see and my what my prediction is. So first I wanted to start off with Spawn, which I think is pretty much, <laughs> from what I've seen, everybody's number one guess and choice at this point. Um, I would love to see, I love Todd McFarlane in general. I grew up on Spawn. Um, I remember reading it when I was like eight, 10 years old and I was hoping for it in Injustice 2, but when I heard um, basically rumors saying, you know, they're saving it for Mortal Kombat 11 for the simple fact is we're going to get more gore, more violence, and that's more true to his character, which was totally fine with me. Like I was okay with that. Well, they didn't have Constantine, so I'm still mad that they put Constantine, or they put the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and not Constantine, but that's like a year old, so I don't know why I'm going into that rant. I'm still jaded, though. Um, but yeah, so number one would definitely be Spawn. I absolutely think, and I'm pretty sure he's going to be in the game at this point, especially with the news of the uh, movie and everything else. It just completely makes sense. Um, my next pick would be um, the Batman Who Laughs from Dark Knight's Metal. Um, the reason I picked this is because we did get two characters in Injustice 2 that were from Mortal Kombat. And with the two companies, you know, being the one and the same, I think it's very possible that we could get something. So we're not going to get Bruce Wayne. We're not going to get those typical characters. So picking the Batman who laughs would make sense. It's got that horror element that they kind of um, center around when it comes to Batman, or when it comes to uh, Mortal Kombat, I'm sorry. And um, it would absolutely be fitting. Like, they really should do this after having two, and again, still jaded about that, characters in Injustice. I think it would absolutely work. Um, my next one would be Marcus Phoenix, and I know it's kind of an off-the-wall pick, but... Um, I love, I love Gears of War. Ever since the first one, I've been playing Gears of War, and this would be a very cool addition that um, would think outside of the realm. It still is minor horror elements to it, um, and it would be something different. It would be something that I would love to personally see, but I think it would also be something that could bring in um, potentially other fans just because of the fact that there is a big fandom with this um, game, with Gears of War. And I think it would be a really cool, I think it would be a really awesome um, addition to it. It would be different and that's maybe what they need, you know? Maybe that would help their PR at this point. I don't know, I, I really would like to see that. Um, Michael Myers is an obvious pick with, last time when we had Jason and Leatherface, um, and with Halloween just coming out last, um, well, Halloween. <laughs> um, I think it would be an obvious pick, and I think it's probably going to happen just for the simple fact, is like I said, it's it's very popular and reborn at this point. Um, it would be very smart for them to add that in with the horror element. I think it would be smart. 
And then I have Neo. I know, I know a lot of people are against this one and I think even Ed Boon himself is against this one or basically said no. But I mean, really, like he's a popular character. He is still popular and I think it would be a really good addition. Um, we would get a different type of moveset that I would like to see. Um, I think it would be good as far as mechanics go and I think it would be good just for the simple fact is like I said there would be so it, it wouldn't be typical Mortal Kombat moves we would get to see something different um, and that's the same reason I picked Marcus just because it would be something different uh, my last one is kind of another obvious one that I think they probably will go with um, which would be Pennywise and oh you know, this isn't my favorite character, and I didn't enjoy it. Uh, I, I did enjoy the book, sim kind of. It was really weird. Like, the whole, like, weird orgy thing. Like, no, I, I just, I can't, I can't, I can't. The original movie with, uh, was it Tim Curry? Was okay. This last one was very, uh, see, it's just all okay to me. Clowns don't scare me. Like, the, if you want to know what scares me, it's paranormal stuff, which they kind of, kind of with this but this isn't scary to me this is silly to me i don't know but i did like the character or the actor that played um pennywise i watched him in hemlock grove um on netflix and i thought he was really good in that role i thought he was better honestly in that role than he was in pennywise but i think it would be a smart addition to this dlc um i think I think it's probably more likely, one of the more likely ones. Like, I really honestly don't see them putting Marcus in it. But I think it would be cool. So, um, let me know what you guys think. If you think any of these are even possible at this point. Or if you think that <laughs> this whole list is full of shit. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.